My name is Kerry Bentavolio. I'm the congressman from Michigan's 11th Congressional District. When I first joined Congress, I knew we had a debt problem, and I knew we spent way too much money. The numbers are almost overwhelming. Billions and trillions of dollars are not something that any ordinary person can relate to. Luckily, before I came to Washington, I was a high school teacher. To be a good teacher, I had to make things understandable for my students in the classroom. With the budget, I knew that there had to be an easier way to explain the numbers I was looking at to the people who sent me to Washington. Today, I'd like to share how I did it and discuss how the sequester affects the budget as I would in a classroom. The spending for 2013 is expected to be around $3.8 trillion. That's the number 38 followed by 11 zeros. The sequester is $85 billion. That's the number 85 with nine zeros after it. That's a lot of money. The best way to understand these numbers is to take eight zeros off both of them. The president is complaining that we're taking an equivalent of $850 from a budget of $38,000. This is pretty hypocritical after he forced people who actually have to live on $38,000 a year to pay another $760 in increased taxes as part of his fiscal cliff package. But let's put it another way as well. I'm from Michigan and we love our cars and trucks. Why don't we build the president a truck that shows what the sequester is taking away in those terms? The base price of a Ford F-150 is $23,670. Because we know President Obama would always take the greenest truck available, let's add the EcoBoost engine for $2,395. Of course, no truck should be without four-wheel drive. That's another $4,640. You'll also need the special package with the CD player and power windows. That costs $2,110. But wait, we're not done. This truck is for the President of the United States. We want the best truck we can get. Let's add box slide steps, a bed liner, chrome hood reflectors, fog lamps, skid plates, tailgate steps, aluminum wheels, a bed extender, a hard folding cover, chrome mesh grill, seat covers, a cargo organizer, chrome wheel locks, a chrome exhaust pipe, an interior lighting kit, rear park assist, a remote starter, and dual DVD players for the back seat. With all those special features, the final price of the truck is $38,501, roughly the amount of money in this year's federal budget without those eight zeros. The budget is the equivalent to the administration buying this souped up F-150 with all the bells and whistles. The sequester is the adults in Congress asking that the president give up the hood reflector and DVD players for the back seat in order to save a little money. The White House wants everyone to believe that this is going to cause the end of the world, but I think common sense tells us otherwise. The national debt is approaching $17 trillion. If we continue down this path, we will leave to our children a weaker nation than the one we inherited from our parents. The time has come to find sensible solutions that will preserve the fiscal standing of our country, for the health of our economy, for job creation right now, and for the future of our children. We can take two cents out of every dollar spent here in Washington. I hope this video made these budget talks a little more understandable. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. God bless Michigan and God bless the United States of America. Thank you.